love to introduce something that doesn't involve muddling, okay? So I've got a cocktail for you here. It's very simple ingredients, got a lot of flavor. Uh, it's called the Kentucky Bubble Bath, and it has rye or bourbon, lemon juice, and agave syrup, uh, chinar, which is the artichoke liqueur, and a lavender tea. So the first thing I want to explain to you is there are many different types of lavender. Okay, English, Spanish, French. This is the French lavender. This is the one that we're looking for. It's the one that produces these seeds. So I'm going to show you. It's got these little buds here. I should say buds, not seeds. So these are all the dried buds. So what it is is they'll take French lavender like this. They'll dry it. They'll take the buds off of it. And that's what you make the tea with, okay? And the really simple formula to that is going to be three cups of water to a half a cup of the lavender buds. So what you'll do is you'll bring this to a boil, bring water to a boil, you'll throw in the buds, let it sit, sit for about 20 minutes, and then you can strain into a bottle. So what's great about this is this can last about a week to two weeks, just in the fridge, okay? Okay, so let's build the cocktail. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do two ounces of rye in this case, but you can use bourbon. And then we'll do three quarter ounce of fresh lemon juice. And we're going to do half an ounce of agave syrup, okay? So I'm cutting back on the agave syrup because the chinar is sweet and that's going in there. So we want to make sure it's not too sweet. So we'll put a half ounce of that agave syrup in. And then we're going to put three quarters of an ounce of chinar. Again, chinar is an artichoke amaro. Amaro means bitter in Italian. And then we're going to do one ounce of the lavender tea. So I'm a huge fan of making teas and juices as opposed to syrups. Um, what I found over time when I was at the library bar is, you know, when I would make a lavender syrup, when I first started making this cocktail, what I noticed is the potency of the lavender wasn't the same in two or three days after that. And what I learned is sugar breaks down flavors. So what I thought is, why don't I just make teas, the flavor will stay, and then now I can keep it consistent, because that is one of the most important things. We're going to put ice in here. You know, we talk about, you know, having drinks again and again and again and making sure that they're consistent. You might have friends or family that come over. They love a cocktail that you made and then they come back two weeks, a month later. You want to make sure that that drink is exactly how they remembered it. This is the best way to do that. So we'll give that a quick shake. I'm going to put this in a Collins glass because we're using fresh lavender as the garnish. And then I'm lucky enough to have this nugget ice, which is this amazing ice that keeps your drink cold. It stays whole and beautiful there. And it doesn't really melt that much. And listen, afterwards, if you want to, it's really cool and really yummy to just kind of um, chew on that ice. So we're going to fill this to the top. This nugget ice. It's also good too because you know what? You can really get creative with putting different things in between it. Um, and also it will keep the garnishes intact here. That looks perfect. And we will strain this over the top. And then I usually take about between three and four sprigs. Now you can see why I chose a Collins glass, right? It's really nice and tall. And if you look at this lavender, it's very tall, right? So it makes sense to kind of cut that, put that down the side there. And there you go. You have, this is the Kentucky Bubble Bath. It's a lavender whiskey lemonade with either rye or bourbon. And there you've got the nugget icing. Let's give this a taste. Mmm. Mmm. It's so refreshing. It's, it's, it's got that bourbon flavor. It's not too strong. You've got the lavender and the lemon in there. That chinar gives that little touch of bitterness in there, so it evens out the sweetness. And it's really that lavender and that aromatic that comes by. And actually, lavender is actually supposed to be really good for your mood. It's supposed to be great for relaxing. It can actually help with anxiety and depression. So you actually can get both worlds in here, okay? So enjoy, thank you so much, enjoy the recipe, please subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.